everyone and welcome to Sorbsys classes. This is Ashmata. In today's class, we are going to discuss about the strategy that you can follow uh, to crack this examination of Madras School of Economics, like be it um, the MA uh, program for the BA program. If you just follow the syllabus and the pattern, definitely you will be able to crack it. Like first of all, what you need to do is you need to know about the latest modifications, the latest updates that have been done. So let me discuss about the uh, parts that are there in this examination, like in this entrance paper. First of all, there is this part A, which deals with the uh, basic mathematics and statistics from where you are getting 15 questions. You have analytical skills from where you are getting 10 questions. Then you have part B where you are getting uh, questions based on statistics and mathematics. You have uh, advanced mathematics over here from where you are getting 30 questions. And uh, you have statistics portion where you are getting 20 questions. Then talking about another part that is uh, the economic stream of part B. Here you are getting uh, like 15 questions from microeconomics. Then you are getting once again 15 questions from macroeconomics. And from the Indian economy related topics, you are getting around 20 questions. For each correct answer, you will be awarded one mark. And for each wrong answer, you will be taken away 0.25 marks. Now, in order to secure a seat in the Madras School of Economics, you have to appear for the entrance exam, which is known as the CUCT exam. That's the Central University's Common Entrance Test. And the examination is held uh, like between this months of May to July every year. And this examination for this year is going to be held very soon within two to three days. Now, this examination is of two hours, okay? This is a two-hour test with 100 questions, which is divided into two sections. Section A, which comprises of 25 questions on topics related to general knowledge, then English, and some elementary logical questions are there. And there is the section B, which comprises of microeconomics, then we have macroeconomics, then you have statistics, then you have mathematics, and some amount of development economics is also there. You have uh, questions based on Indian economic theories and econometrics also. Now, since it has 100 questions with a time of 120 minutes, it is a speed test. The questions are mostly like easy to moderate, you can say, with probably 15% of the paper that requires you to spend more time on them as they individually are comparatively lengthy for a speed-based test. So such question may appear tricky, but probably a few seconds of thinking would help you crack them. The best way to go about with this examination is to see what questions you can solve within a few seconds and then you can just come back to the ones that need some time. It is uh, like more about knowing which areas you are confident about and can easily solve them. To study for this, the best thing is to go and have a look at the syllabus of the economics uh, undergraduate program at the Delhi University. If you aren't well versed with the undergraduate syllabus, you would need some time then. But if you are already uh, like aware about it, then uh, a, a revision of the topics and the preparation of four to five months would be more than sufficient for you all. After the exam, the Madras School of Economics takes out a list of the students who are shortlisted for the applied courses on the basis of the ranks which is shaped which is like secured in the exam. Uh, the paper isn't that much tough if your speed is sufficient and you know what you know and you know what you don't know. Uh, so that you don't waste time on those questions which you think you, you will not be able to do. So do uh, spend your time on questions which you think you will be able to do and leave the questions which you don't know for, uh, for the extra time if you have afterwards. Yeah, so that's it for today's class. Hope so you are preparing well for this examination, which is going to happen very soon. Uh, practice well and uh, yeah, revise your lessons uh, before the examination and uh, all the best for your upcoming exams. So that's it for today's class. We're going to meet once again in our next classes.